Amidst the magnificence of British tradition and regal pageantry, Buckingham Palace's ancient walls are undergoing transformation. The emergence of King Charles III on the throne ushers in a new era of regal obligations and anticipations. Lady Louise Windsor and James, Viscount Severn, the progeny of Prince Edward, Earl of Wessex, and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, are the fulcrum of this contemporary monarchy. This video explores how these youthful royals exemplify the vitality and potential of a dynasty that is perpetually redefining itself to adapt to the demands of the 21st century. But before we continue, please take a minute of your precious time to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Following the extraordinary tenure of Queen Elizabeth II, the British monarchy is confronted with a critical juncture. The ascension to power of King Charles III raises inquiries regarding the direction and future function of the institution. In light of this context, there is a growing emphasis on the younger cohort of royals who are tasked with both perpetuating the heritage of their predecessors and generating distinctive contributions within an ever-evolving society. Lady Louise and James, Earl of Wessex, serve as archetypal representations of the monarchy's early potential. Boasting the youthful vitality and sagacity of a distinguished lineage, they are positioned to revitalize regal responsibilities with fresh impetus and pertinence. Royal authorities often emphasize their potential pivotal roles in modernizing the monarchy's image, praising their harmonious blend of conventional decorum and contemporary outlook. As one scrutinizes the development of these youthful monarchs, an analogy can be drawn between the guidance provided by Edward and Sophie and the enduring impact that Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip left behind. As a result of their approach, which embodies both modern and traditional values, Edward and Sophie spark conjecture regarding the potential future contributions of their children within the regal framework. There is considerable speculation surrounding the precise functions and contributions that Lady Louise and James might partake in. With the monarchy adjusting to modern requirements, there is strong expectation that these youthful royals will assume crucial roles as operational participants, exemplifying the evolving identity and principles of the institution. The prospective professional ambitions and scholarly endeavors of Lady Louise contribute to the complexity of anticipations regarding her future impact within the royal family. By incorporating personal professional accomplishments in addition to royal engagements, Assuming roles could potentially introduce a novel framework for working royals that integrates professional obligations with personal vocation. The strategy employed by Edward and Sophie in managing royal engagements and constructing a public image serves as a model for Lady Louise and James. Their abstention from bestowing royal titles upon their offspring suggests a longing for a modicum of normalcy, enabling them to establish personal identities that appeal to a wider range of individuals in society. The British monarchy is positioned to undergo a momentous period of change. The possible architects of this evolution are glimpsed in the personas of Lady Louise and James, Earl of Wessex. As they advance in their public positions, their deeds and decisions will presumably have a significant impact on the monarchy's contemporary significance. During the reign of King Charles III, the monarchy initiated a process of adjustment guided by the beliefs that youthfulness and experience held in common. 